These are places iconic to Singapore. Tio Heng KTV, Zouk, Sungai Road, Tanglin Halt. So this is where my mum actually grew up. To the left, I used to come here for the Sungai Road Beast Market. But now, we're at risk of losing them. It's all empty and it's only been a couple of months. I am Joanna Dong. In this episode, I will be revealing the stories behind a place I have very fond memories of. With COVID-19 pulling the brakes on all entertainment and nightlife, this 31-year-old establishment is on the brink of collapse. I find out how the team behind Tio Heng are pulling together to save one of Singapore's family-friendly KTV studios. I'm Joanna Dong. You may remember me as the second Singaporean to make it to the grand finals of Sing China in 2017. I started joining singing competitions when I was six, particularly karaoke singing competitions. My mom sewed all my costumes, and I even got extra points for them. Chiaoheng Trading was founded in 1989. Initially, it only sold karaoke equipment and home karaoke systems. But seeing a rising trend in karaoke in the early 1990s, the company set up their first karaoke lounge at Katong Shopping Center. By 2019, Tio Heng had expanded to 14 outlets across Singapore. Katong Shopping Center is a place I used to frequent when I was still in school. I am headed to Tio Heng HQ at level 2 of Katong Shopping Center. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi I'm James. Hi. I'm Alan. Okay. Welcome to Tio Heng. You are Joanna Dong, right? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just browsing because I used to come here to Tio Heng with my mom when I was young to buy karaoke equipment. So, you guys, have you been working here for a long time? Yeah. We've been here since young. This is actually our family business. Oh, I see. Mm. Yes. Jace and Alan are cousins and Tio Heng's second generation. They've been helping out at the Katong outlet since they were five. They would even serve customers and stand in as DJs, helping to change song tracks before officially joining the company eight years ago. Venues like uh, nightclubs, uh, theatres, uh, entertainment outlets will be closed. In March 2020, two months after COVID-19 hit Singapore, KTV lounges across Singapore were ordered shut to prevent the virus from spreading through the community. And with no revenue coming in, Tio Heng KTV Studio is planning to close seven of its 14 outlets. Four months into the shutdown and with no end in sight, Tio Heng was running out of funds. Due to the pandemic, we are just we can't open for close to a close to a whole year. And we still have to pay all our workers. So it was quite a tough decision to close down the first two outlets that we have. One is Katong, one is Sambawang Shopping Centre. So seeing it close down and unable to continue is quite depressing. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Is the unit still like available? Can we still take a look at it? Just yes. to yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Shio Heng started in 1989, selling karaoke equipment. In 1993, Chio Heng launched its first karaoke lounge. It was a modest setup with five KTV rooms, just one floor below its karaoke equipment shop. KTV lounges were expensive in those days, and the Tio family wanted to offer an affordable, family-friendly karaoke to their customers. What were the kind of clientele that you would have at this particular KTV outlet? Uh, usually, it's more for like students, mm. um, housewives, grandparents. Then, you, if you know, upstairs we have quite a few like tuition centers. Ah. So uh, the kids are having tuition, then the parents will be here singing. That's smart. Yeah. Like, yes. What a great way to spend the time. That's right. Oh gosh, so there must be many long-time customers? That's right. Yes. We, we are actually pretty packed. Yeah. Some oh, wow. of them, they have to do even like a few weeks in advance for a booking. So which one of these were the KTV units? From all of this. Huh? All, the all way. of this? And then from here, all the way until... So in total, how many like such units did you guys have? So we have yeah. 33. And then 33 also 33 rooms? Yes. Wow, I'm actually getting goosebumps, you know, because to hear the story of how you guys expanded into so many rooms in this space and then suddenly it's all empty. How are your parents' generation coping with everything? They, they couldn't really take it because it, it is very, very traumatizing to see that all the hard work we have put in for this 30 plus years. Just blink of an eye, everything was gone. Feels like it all went down yeah, the drain. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So my, my mom actually has, has been having anxiety and depression. And then, yeah, it's pretty tough, yeah. I actually really wanted to know, how are you evolving the business so that you can keep up with the situation? So we are turning our business into more work and study place. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the new conversion will be located at Amokyo Hub. Since the pandemic, Tio Heng has lost almost $2 million in revenue. Tio Heng's latest outlet at Amokyo opened almost exactly one year before COVID-19 hit Singapore. And there are plans to convert this outlet into a place that people can rent for work or studies. So this is all our booking system. This oh. usually is pretty full. The outlet at Amokyo Hub has been operating at a loss of more than $60,000 a month. Even though the rooms remain empty, I notice that they're still kept rigorously clean, with even one of Tio Heng's big bosses pitching in to help. Hello. Hello, ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao. Okay. Jackie Chiu is the younger brother of the company's founder. He takes care of operations and staff welfare for every outlet. I hear 换要喷要做很多东西，实在是浪费。我们很多时间，把又增加很多员工去做。这样我跟你讲，今天我当免费劳工。Tio Heng has spent more than one hundred thousand dollars to install antiviral fogging machines like this one in every outlet. Every month, they spend at least six thousand five hundred dollars to keep all the rooms clean and disinfected. 好像要轉型轉軌道對嗎講是容易啦可是做起來那挑戰在哪裡呢挑戰就是說你一定要把白間很多東西要重新再改反正你一直可能脖子不可能用我們要改成移動性可能就要多花一筆錢出來了所以現
due to the pandemic, Tio Heng had to close two of their outlets. Since it opened its karaoke studios in 1993, Chiu Heng KTV has been the go-to place for affordable karaoke for many Singaporeans. Its founder, Jackson Chiu, has built it into one of the biggest family-friendly karaoke clubs with its no alcohol, no smoking, no frills policy, and rooms starting at only $8 per hour. But forced to close during the circuit breaker, Chiu Heng is struggling to hang on. 小时候我就跟我的妈妈一起去到你们嘎东那一家丢黑我们家里的卡拉 进入这个行业呢，因为你们是从卖那个音响系统开始，对吗？我就是很简单，跟你一样，我从小就喜欢唱歌嘛。哦，所以尤其参加歌唱比赛，然后哎，卡拉 要好几十块钱嘛，所以有些还是跑去台乐喝白开喝。我们对喝那个水水龙头的，对水水这个问题啦是非非常不好，所以我就想说好了，我就找一个找一个油腻，也就几个房间，好就开了一家啊，刘
uh, whereby, especially Katong, whereby they met, you know, then yeah. they, oh, Aww. they sing together, and then, you know, gradually, then they are... From young love. romance. Yes, correct. So they call, they say they want to propose. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, they yeah. wanted yeah. to, yeah. Yeah. you know, do something, ah, do something special. special. So he's yeah. the one who actually mm. load in the montage and then give them a particular yeah. uh, code number. So they start singing, just singing, singing, then suddenly he will make the request. Make the request, then the montage came in. Yes. Wow. We are fortunate enough that um, the children now, they all have grown up already. They are still very interested in our industry too. So now they are the people who actually guide us through this pandemic. You know, lots of things that's going to Twitter and then um, also when it comes to social media, which we are very unfamiliar with and we are very afraid of. But the children, they are different. They are, they are young, they learn very fast and very up to date. You know, the overwhelming sense that I get is that Chiu Heng as a business is family. Not just literal blood relations yes. between yourselves, brother and sister and your children, but even Eddie, you feel like completely a part of their yes. family. Yes, yes. After speaking to the directors of Chiu Heng KTV, I'm starting to see why Chiu Heng holds a special place in the hearts and memories for many Singaporeans. Its staff are also like family so much so that they have voluntarily taken a pay cut since October last year. Singapore is now in phase three of the circuit breaker. Tio Heng KTV has applied to take part in a pilot program by Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Trade and Industry. One of the conditions to reopen is that the group size will be limited to only two packs per room. So I want to do something special to cheer up the folks at Tio Heng. I have an idea, but I'll need some help. So if you could pass me some of their contacts, and then we, we liaise over sure, sure, the phone. Sure. Ken? Sounds good. Good. Okay, great. Surprise! Oh, hi! So, today we have like, I think, Today, I am roping in Jean's son, Chase, and Jackson's son, Ellen, to help me spring a surprise to cheer up the owners of one of Singapore's oldest KTV studios, Tio Heng. It has been forced to close two outlets permanently and is in the midst of pivoting at least six of its remaining 12 into a work and study venue. Yes. Festive. Good job, guys. Jackie and Eddie and Tio Heng's founder Jackson and his sister Jean think they're meeting me to discuss their new business plans for the year. But I've actually arranged for them to meet some of their most loyal customers. Due to the shutdown in late March 2020, it has been almost 10 months since Tio Heng had seen their regulars. Come in! Hey, you know Come on! Come on! Come on! Hello! Hello! Surprise! Oh, hi! So, so, so. Come, come. Like. Very happy to see you, yeah. How did y'all like first hear about Tio Heng? What made you first go as students? Actually, it's our friend recommended us. Then since then, we've been coming like every week already. Mm. Every week? Yes, every week. Irvina, Karen and two of their friends have been coming here to sing their favourite Jay Chow songs since their school days. And then there's my mum. She was Jean's Chinese teacher in pre-university and left a lifelong impression on her student. This is me! <laughs> 
So how frequently did you all used to go? Uh, for me, uh, maybe twice a month. Whoa. Yeah. Leave almost every week. Every week? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm serious, I'm serious. You, you know what? Daniel Chan is the president of Singapore's only Elvis club, which holds their regular singing sessions at Teo Heng. Trevor Lowe only became a Teo Heng fan in recent years, but he loved coming here so much that his colleagues even threw him a birthday surprise at the KTV studio. We always patronize them, right? So they will know our room, huh? our room number. You, do you always go to the same room? Yes. Oh, I want to test him. Eddie, what room is it? It's room 16. Correct or not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you all, really, no. Yeah. Yeah. My question is, when can we resume karaoke? <laughs> <laughs> we will always wait for Tio Hing to open again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Tio Hing is our zook. Tio Hing is your zook! Wow. That is the quote of the day for me. <laughs> what about you, Trevor? Jackson, press on. I know what you mean. Thank you very oh, no. much. It's emotional for you, isn't it, Trevor? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. You're hard, 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 you 也是让我一个建立的一个很好的感情希望一直看到有这样的东西就是很好的嗯你们两个这么眼睛泛着泪光没有赚钱你赚到人家的泪水你这个这个是无价的你知道吗真的感谢大家的厚爱所以我觉得